Dearly beloved, how are you all? Are you doing well? Or are you saying it's been a struggle all the time? I am facing problems every day. Your life could be called a Christian life only when there are struggles. Does not the Bible also say that we will have trouble in this world? There is an enemy for us called Satan. He cannot simply bear the fact that we are the children of Lord God. So he keeps battling with us and causes problems every time. He keeps trying to spoil our joy and peace. But do not fear him. Do you know why? The Lord Jesus Christ who is with us to help us does not only protect us but also fights for us. In Deuteronomy chapter 3.22, it's written, The Lord your God himself fights for you. The Lord will fight for you. Then why should you fear? There might be some problem and you may not know what to do. Are you in such a situation? The Lord will fight for you. Now once a family visited us, they said, Brother, we do not know what to do. We are doing a business and a big rowdy in our area came and demanded a great sum of money. He also said that he would not allow us to do business otherwise. He is causing a lot of trouble. He is intimidating and scaring us. When we went to the police for help, they said that the rowdy had a huge backup and advised us not to have enmity with him and to give whatever he asked. We are really in trouble. I also approached a politician for this. No one seemed to give a solution to this, so I do not know what to do. He has also fixed a date and honor before that day. I must give so much money to him. Otherwise, he said that he would overturn my business. No one whom we approached came forward to help us. Everyone is afraid of him. We are so troubled. What should I do? I replied to him, God is there for you. Though the police and the politicians refused to do anything and though other people were not in a position to help you, you have the God who made the heaven and earth. Just believe. The Lord will fight for you. You will find rest. Let's pray about it. Saying so, I prayed and comforted him and sent him home. And do you know what happened after that? How would it be if the Lord fights for us? The rowdy had already fixed a date, right? Right on the previous day of that particular date, he was killed. There had been some other rowdy group against him. They went against him and killed him. That's all. Problem over. When God fights for you, the enemies will vanish away completely. You cannot find them who rose against you even if you search for them. Sometimes, when the Lord begins to fight, He will just deliver your enemies to others like this. So do not fear, the Lord will fight for you. What is your problem today? Is it in your home, work, business or spiritual life? Just cling to God and tell him boldly, Lord, only you are there for me and you should only fight for me. You should only help me out in this struggle. He will fight for you and give you victory. Shall we pray, dear Lord? Thank you for you are there to fight for us. Thank you for the promise that the Lord will fight for you. Thank you for fighting for us and giving us the victory. Thank you for fighting for this son, this daughter and making them glad. We pray this prayer in the name of Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.